Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install Memory Clean, a free app from the App Store that allows you to speed up your Mac. But first we need to check how much memory your computer has. First go to the upper left hand corner and select the Apple logo. From there select About This Mac, and here you'll be given a window that has everything about your Mac. Please go to Memory and see how much memory you have in the, your computer. For me, I have 16 gigs of memory. For you, it might be between 4 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes. I recommend 8 gigabytes, and if you have 4 gigabytes or less, please have it looked at and upgraded because macOS Sierra and any other future software will need more memory, and it's faster too. Next, clo close out the window and go to the App Store. I have it down here on the dock. You can select it there. If you do not have it on the dock, go to Spotlight Search in the top right hand corner and type in the App Store. Select Enter and App Store will open up. From there go to the right hand corner and type in Memory Clean. You don't even have to finish typing and it will show up right here. Memory Clean 2 is the latest one at the time of this recording. Select it and it will be presented right here. It looks just like this. For you it will say Git. Now once you hit get, you may be prompted to sign in with your Apple ID if you haven't done so before. Do this and you'll be able to download it. For me, since I've already downloaded this and I already have it on all my other computers, I just hit install. What it does next is it goes right down into the Rocket Dock Launchpad and begins installing. If you do not know your Apple ID and you have an iPhone, just use that same ID doesn't matter if it's the school's uh, computer, you can still use your Apple ID just fine. Next, what you're going to do after it installs, you can select Open. And then you can close out the App Store. From there, you can select uh, the Memory Clean from the top taskbar of your computer. And you'll be given this similar window looking like this. Next, go to the Settings here in the right-hand corner and hit Preferences. In the Preferences window you will see different options and make sure they're similar and just like this. So Start at Login is checked on, Hide Window at Startup is on, and Hide Unlock Extreme button is on. I chose to do Text Long and Text Size Large, but if you have a lot of icons up here and at times you can't see it, you may change these according to your preference. The most important part is under this advanced settings gear right here. So tap this tab and make sure your settings are just like this. Threshold level is all the way to the max. For me, I have 16 gigs of memory and the max for me is 49, 15 megabytes. If it's 8 gigabytes, it's somewhere lower than that. Make sure auto clean is selected and disable auto cooldown is selected. And put your threshold refresh interval down to one second. That way, it checks your memory every second and cleans it if it's under the selected threshold. And that's it. Really, all you're, all you're going to be doing is use your Mac as normal, and it'll clean itself in the background. If you do find at times that it is a bit slow, all you have to do is hit clean. It'll be presented with this window with this little animation, and it'll clean up and free up space on your Mac. And this isn't storage like your hard drive storage, this is memory. All about speed. The more memory you have, the more memory available that you have, the faster your computer will go. That's about it. You can click out of it and let it do its thing, and your computer should be running at least, hmm, for me, 50% faster if you have 8 gigabytes or less. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you get... Um, the proper information from this and um, hopefully you can do it yourself. If you need help please contact me or Javon and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.